All right. If you're on this tutorial video, it means you've already done the logging in and you've done the place it tutorial number one. This is number two and it's called view it. And in this tutorial, we're going to click on it. And you may have just clicked continue to get to this spot, but however you get to this page is fine. View it. While creating designs, it helps to see your shapes from all sides. The view cube located at the top left of Tinkercad, that's right here, okay, will help you looking around. Let's learn how you can change your view. All right, so we're gonna go down, it says, instructions, just left click and drag anywhere on the view cube and see how it changes the point of view. Let's take a look. I'm gonna left click, I'm gonna rotate things around. I can see things from the bottom, the back, the top, the sides. Okay, it says two, try clicking different areas of the view cube to rotate the design to match. So I can click front, shows me the front, bottom, back. Okay, great, continue to the next step. Okay, let's continue. Learn to zoom. From time to time, it, it helps to take a closer look at your design. Practice zooming in and out. Now, the instructions say there's a couple of ways to zoom. If you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, you can actually use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Ooh, 3D coming at you. If you use a touchpad, you actually use two fingers to zoom in and out. And there's a third way you can do that, okay? Um, and actually, I'm going to talk about zooming in and out. You can also use this plus and minus button on the screen here. Okay. Now, let's see if I can get rid of this thing here. Because we've already, whoops, that was fun. Um, eraser, erase. Oh, that makes you erase that there. Never mind. All right. Okay. Let's go to the next part. It says, let's look around faster. You've seen how to rotate using the view cube. This time, let's try by only using your mouse or touchpad. Press and hold the right mouse button by moving your mouse, practice rotating. Ooh. Or you can use the touchpad by pressing the control button and left click while you drag. And then if you have your set, mouse pad set, set up. <clears throat> so you guys can get mice from me that plug into your Chromebook, makes it a lot easier. And our mice do have scroll wheels and right click buttons. Okay, so let's continue to the next step. All right. Now, in order to get credit for this assignment, what you are going to do is you are going to show me the bottom of the box. You're going to take a screenshot of this and you're going to put the screenshot into the slideshow assignment. All right, good luck and then move on to the next tutorial.